ugly. I gotta admit that today, during my workout, my mind was elsewhere. I was actually spending a lot of time in my workout back at the park yesterday. Now, even though I wasn't feeling the best yesterday, I did decide to take my family to the park because Charlotte had been such a good girl and it's good for my sweetie and my buddy Gabe to get fresh air even though if I'm feeling not 100%. And I went to the park and I sat down at the picnic table with my sweetie. Charlotte started to play on the slides and this gentleman sitting by himself with a cell phone asked me if I could come by him for a second. And I did. And this guy, he had a bottle of water. He had a baseball hat that he wasn't wearing. He had a Father's Day card inside of that baseball hat and inside the Father's Day card because he opened it when I came near him and it played music. It was one of those musical greeting cards. I don't remember the song, but he had two photographs inside of that greeting card. And one of them was of him holding a baby boy. And the other one was a photograph from some time ago. I could tell because it was aged and it was faded. And as it turns out, it was a picture of him as a little boy. Maybe about one, years, one year of age is my guess. And he made a comment about how much his son and he looked alike. And I had to agree with that statement. Now at the time, I was wearing my I Make Adorable Baby shirt. And that was something that this gentleman and I had in common because his kid was pretty cute. However, the conversation turned quickly and he looked underneath the picnic table and I saw underneath there a belt from an automobile. I think it was a broken serpentine belt if I had to bet the farm. And he started to make some comments about how he wanted to keep breathing and that he couldn't take his own life with that serpentine belt. It was very obvious to me that this guy was kind of unstable and very, very depressed and missing his son right at the time. And just for a second, a little second, I had a little bit of fear in my heart. And that's not a bad thing because like I said, when you have fear in your heart, that's the only time that you really can be brave. So I talked to this man and I really, really, really think I helped him. He ended, up me, he ended up handing me his cell phone and I called his wife and he wanted me to relay the message to her that he was going to be okay. His name was Wes and his wife, her name was Deb. I didn't catch the name of the son, but I remember Wes and Deb. So I had a phone call with a complete stranger. She seemed a little relieved and I know that Wes seemed very, very relieved. He took back his phone, he picked up his hat, picked up his cards, he took the serpentine belt and he threw it in the trash at the park and he went on his way. Now the reason that this episode has stuck in my brain so much is when I was a young man, I kind of went around looking for these opportunities. Uh, about one out of every three or four people on the streets that are homeless are a United States veteran, and that's a statistic that just kind of boggles my mind. And in the homeless, you have a lot of depression, you have a lot of blue feelings, and you have a lot of mental illness. And uh, I thought I could get some real good life experience trying to help those people as best I can. And I kind of had that moment yesterday at the park. But everything, everything is so much different now when you have a family to think about. A lot of people probably would have said, you know what, you should have used your cell phone and called the police. Well, I didn't have a cell phone. You know, and that's probably a good thing because instead of having a serpentine belt under the picnic table, Wes could have easily had a handgun. So things happen for a reason. And I hope that Wes is okay. I hope that 
Deb is okay, and more importantly, I hope that little man gets to make some very, very good memories with his father in the future.